Hello guys, this is Harry Tutorials, and I bring you guys another uh, another part of a beginner guide, Cinema 4D beginner guide. Uh, this is the second last part, so uh, it's gonna be this part and the next part, and the the series is gonna be over. And I'm gonna be doing some advanced tutorials. So if you guys say if you guys watched my previous the previous parts of beginner guide, uh, you would have this saved file. I named it beginner guide. You can name it whatever you want. Anyways, uh, open it up if you have. If you haven't, then go back to part one and watch it again. Anyways, here we have a scene, and let's render this. I already forgot how it looks. I think there were tiles on the floor, and such. Yeah, there are tiles, and there's text, some glossy text. Yeah, so that looks pretty nice. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about real life physics. And what it is basically is gravity, bounds, like when objects bounce, stuff like that. Just basic basic objects. So they act like real life. Let's say we, uh, we put a cube on our scene, so click on the cube right here, or select any object that you want to use. So I'll just use a cube, for example, and select the uh, scale tool, and just scale it down, and select the move tool, move it up a little bit, maybe over like that, and then, uh, as you can see, you have a plane here that's that's gonna be lighting up our scene. So we don't want this cube to be falling through the plane because then it's gonna be visible. It's gonna be like really bright. The cube's gonna be bright, so we want to just put it back somewhere behind that plane. All right, and just put it up so the camera can see it. So as you can see, oh no, just a little bit higher, right there. Okay, and uh, uh, select the cube, and then uh, select fillet right here, right here, fillet select it then let's see the cube then deselect the radius put it down to like 12 or something like that about there then right click on the cube go to simulation tags and select uh, rigid body so you got uh, dynamics and collision ta collision uh, tab selected and uh, by the way if you didn't get this click on the cube and click on the rigid body tag right here right beside the cube anyways scroll down right here and you'll found, find bounce so bounce is 50% put it down to 5 and then friction is 30% put it up to uh, 90 and then collision noise just leave it as it is now let's play this so as you can see the cube is already falling oh. one thing I forgot to do uh, select the floor right click on the floor and uh, go to simulation tags uh, glider body oops simulation tags glider body in sim of dr12 I think it's gonna be like dynamics and then uh, something like that dynamics and it's gonna be you know, simulation, simulation, simulate, some somewhere right here. So that's where you'll be be able to find all the dynamics. In this case, I'm using Snow for DR13, where you have to cl right click on the object. So, anyways, what uh, uh, Collider body does is it makes this object right here a ground, like you would have ground in real life, where objects would fall on it and bounce off and stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, this is the ground. So once the cube is gonna fall on it, it's gonna bounce. Should bounce off. Oh yeah. Yeah. Since we decreased bounce, it's not gonna bounce as much. Just gonna bounce a tiny, bounce a tiny bit. So, anyways, yeah. Right click. I mean, click again on the uh, tag beside the cube, the rigid body tag. And then scroll down again. 
Yeah, scroll. Oops, what was that? Anyways, scroll down back, down again to bounce, and increase the bounce to 20. Okay, let's see. It should bounce a little bit more now. Yeah, it bounces a bit more. Okay, so then uh, uh, select the cube and then go to and then on your keyboard uh, hold control and click C and then hold control click V and again hold and then, uh, anyways and then drag the cube out of this cube and then control V again and then drag it out and then so on control V until we have enough cubes then put them put the cubes close together like this so that when they start off they're gonna touch each other and they're gonna like bounce off of each other and which makes it look a bit better because then they're like moving around randomly and uh, yeah just select the rotate tool and turn one of them or a few of them so that it looks somewhat random like so yeah just random okay so now if we play this the cubes are gonna fall down and they're gonna bounce a little bit okay now it's time to add the color to the cube so as again if you watched the last part just double click on the material uh, t uh, material tab here and then once you created the material now look on the material color select the color just change it to whatever you like I'll just change it to red and then select the reflection then go to texture um, Fresnel okay now drag this on to every one of the cubes that we created or you can create different colors and put them on the cubes doesn't really matter all right So yeah, this is pretty much it guys for today's tutorial. Let's actually render this and see what we have got here. Oh, and by the way, if you need to uh, make the clip longer uh, to extend the amount of frame, like the amount of frames and the amount of time, you have this tab here shows 90 frames. So currently we have 90 frames, which is uh, three seconds. So there's a, like arrows here, so just grab it and drag it up until you have your needed amount of frames. I'll just put it to 130, which is about uh, 4 to 5 seconds. Alright, now let's see. Now let's render this. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks pretty sick actually. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, thank you guys for watching and in the next part I'm going to be showing you guys how to render this clip or this animation. Yeah, how do you select different re rendering settings, HD, non-HD, blah blah blah. But we're pretty much done with this series and yeah, I didn't expect it was going to look that good. So... Thank you guys for watching, please uh, thumbs up this video, please subscribe if you haven't, and see you guys later.